Good morning, everybody. Look at that quiff. Now that is some quiff. Don't be laughing at me, jammers. So I've just woke up. I watched Shadow Boxer's video yesterday on uh, Jimmy Justice. That man is a moron. That man will sell his soul for clicks and likes. He'll sell his soul for subscribers. Now listen, I'm all for making money on YouTube. You know, um, do what you gotta do. No one to get that paid at the end of the month. But for me personally, what you see is what you get. You know, if you meet me in real life, you'll see I'm exactly as, uh, I'm exactly as what you see on YouTube. You know, um, I don't create no alter ego. I don't change my personality for clicks and likes. I say it always. All I have to my name is my honesty. You know, uh, I just be as honest as possible and as open as possible. And I, and I get my opinion across, you know, as honest as possible. Now, I've spoke to Shadow Boxer in private a couple of times, you know, especially about Brett, because, you know, um, Brett said he was ready to fight. He was going to fight him over in Ireland for Shadow Boxer. So I've messaged Shadow Boxer and says, right, I'll come over and I'll fight him. I'm ready now. I'll come and fight him today. I'll come and fight him tomorrow. He said that he's ready to fight this week. So I... We'll come and fight him this week. Set it up. Brett doesn't want it. Brett does not want it. And if he makes it, if he watches this video, he'll make a video later and go, oh, there's no money in it. Uh, or big KFC. Uh, or big pay-per-view. Listen, Brett doesn't want to fight me. He's a YouTube gangster and he's a YouTube warrior. End of. The reason why I'm making this video is because Shadow Boxer is a fucking vile, disgusting man for trying to say that Jimmy Justice is a sexual deviant, is a sexual predator. He's, he's, a, he's an evil, disgusting, vile bastard and he's being blocked and I will never speak to that man in private again. Never liked him anyway, never liked him anyway. I did speak to him in private, trying to get a couple of fights over the line and uh, that was it, that was it, but I don't like the man. I think he's vile, I think he's disgusting. I think the narrative he's trying to spin here with Jimmy is not even funny, it's not even funny. It's just disgusting and fucking vile. He put up, I've screenshot the messages, he messaged me and says, play along, you know, we'll do big numbers. We'll do, I thought, play along, you fucking vile, disgusting bastard. Listen guys, this corner of YouTube is an extremely vile and sick place. It is, you know, um, fortunately I'm involved in it. Fortunately, I'm probably never going to get out of the fucker. But the only way I'm going to get out of it is if I delete my YouTube. But I'm not afraid to say it. YouTube's paying my rent. YouTube pays my bills. You know, at the end of the month, I make one video every day. At the end of the month, if I can clear a thousand quid, that's my bills, more or less. That's half of my bills paid. You know what I'm saying? Now, love me or hate me on this channel, I try and keep it as honest as possible. And I'm absolutely fed up with speaking to the likes of Shadowboxer, speaking about Brett May, you know, um, Dekereggy, wherever he fucking is. You know, these guys are fucking king of the dark side. King of the dark side. If you're over there supporting any of these, <coughs> you need your head checking in. You need your head checking. You really do. You know, Shadow Boxer, convicted fucking rapist or whatever he is. Brett May, he's ran away from the scene of an accident. A young girl's died. You know, he beats women up. Um, he's a fucking rat. A wrong and a smelly long nail fingered bastard, you know, I'm um, who's too afraid to come and fight me. No two words about it. Now, I'm actually woke up in a really, really positive mood. I've signed the ABKFC contract last night. Um, the guy I'm fighting is one and in the BKFC Europe, he's from Bulgaria, and he's never uttered the words, I can't see, I can't see. He's ready to fight. Now, the reason why I'm talking about these people, you know, um, is not for a back and forth. It's just to make you aware of, you know, what type of people we're dealing with on, on YouTube, you know, behind the scenes, you know. Um, let me tell you something. And this is God's honest truth. <clears throat> so the, the beef between me and Brett is real. I can't stand the man. I fucking hate the man. I wouldn't mind if, no, I won't even say that anyway. 
I, I don't wish him any 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 goodness in life. I don't wish him any wellness in life. You know, um, if he wasn't here tomorrow, I wouldn't mind. That's how much I hate it. That's how much I despise him. Now I'm sorry, God, but I mean it. You know, um, I, I can't stand the man. I think he's a vile, disgusting, walk and talk and piece of shit. It's exactly what he is. Now, Brett was never allowed on the big KFC. Never. Ever. We and him do big numbers going back and forth. They come around me and says, look, if you speak to Brett, tell him to dial it down a bit. If you tell him to stop tagging the BKFC in his channel, uh, if he dials it down, and uh, he can tag us in it. And if he fights, he's got to pay the rest of the money he owes of his pairs. Okay, sound. So I messaged Brett, look, i send me your number, I need to speak to you. I'm coming down the first of February, down to Doncaster. We don't need to fight now. I don't need to come looking for you. You know, um, we've got the fight over the line. No problem, Paul. Shall we meet up when you come down? I says, no, we shan't. Well, shall we do a bit of content, you know, have a little shoving match, a pushing match? I went, no, no, Brett, keep away from me. You know, right, well, I'm just going to do my thing on YouTube. And we'll get, I appreciate you getting this fight over the line. I said, no problem. He said, by the way, are you at Mount Pleasant? Now, I never denied that I wasn't at Mount Pleasant, but I was nowhere near Mount Pleasant, this hotel, Mount Pleasant. I was never nowhere near it. But, and I just didn't deny it. So that's why he thought I was at Mount Pleasant. That's why he's outside Mount Pleasant with a balaclava on and a fucking, f fucking car full of goons. The fucking absolute clown. Now, BKFC is a multi-million pound business. When they're seeing someone wearing a balaclava, they were never, ever, ever going to allow someone like that to fight. So what did he do? He got himself out of the fight because he was frightened. Because when he got that, when I told him the fight was over the line, he started to stutter, his voice started to crack, his demeanour changed, shit himself. So what did he do? Right, how can I get out of this fight? I don't know, I'll pull a balaclava on, I'll post some videos of people blowing doors off, and uh, we'll say Venice's life was under threat. That's it. Yeah, coward. Shadow Boxer, you're a fucking disgusting, foul, vile bastard for trying to put Jimmy Justice in the same light as you. Jimmy never got kicked out of the BKFC. Jimmy was there till the end. I spent a lot of time with Jimmy. Jimmy is not a sexy, sexual deviant like you are. I've never gossiped to you. You are a fucking low-life piece of shit. God bless.